Hello and welcome to another Streamline tutorial. Today we're going to be going over keyboard shortcuts, use of the remote, as well as some basic functionality such as doing searches and adding things to your favorites. So first thing we're going to do is select the Chrome browser and you can see here that I've got a few things that are bookmarked on here. These are just because I've used these pages. Uh, any site that you go to, you can click on the little star here and that will bookmark it. To get to your bookmarks, you can get to the ones that you have already bookmarked on your computer using the same Gmail account as well as uh, on the box. You just click on the three dots, click on bookmarks, and then you choose which ones you'd like to select. So you can see I've got a few different or a couple different ones here marked already. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back to Streamline's website and I'm going to go to how to then you can scroll down on the web page using the arrow keys on the d-pad of the remote or of your actual keyboard or you can use the mouse and then you just left click and hold off to the side and you can drag it up and down I'm going to go to the controls keyboard remote and mouse shortcuts and this is where you can find out what uh, keys do what in the movies section and so it uh, has a whole breakdown you can either scroll down to the bottom or for convenience we put this quick link that will take you straight down to the bottom and this will tell you the features of the remote control as well as how to clear memory this is uh, a great thing to do if you don't feel like restarting your box but uh, something doesn't seem to be working properly you're stuck on a a page or something and you want to close background tasks uh, it's always good to use the uh, home button to return to the main launcher window which is explained right there so I'm going to do that now and then you can use the context menu button as we just uh, looked at on the uh, on the map out and that cleared everything that was open in the background so now I'm going to go ahead and go over to the movies TV shows and music section and in here that context menu does something a little different so I'm just going to go to Genesis and I'm going to do a basic search in Genesis go to TV shows go down to the very bottom and click on search and I'm going to type in dome then hit done that will start your search and return to you several different uh, TV shows that have dome in them so this particular one is the one that I want under the dome so I can press the letter C for context menu on the keyboard or I can press the context menu on the remote control either one they both do the same thing and then I can add this to favorites so now this TV show will be in my favorites for Genesis anytime I want to watch it I don't have to do another search for it so if I go back to the TV shows and back to favorites and scroll down you can see there's under the dome so that's how you do it in Genesis another great place to go to to watch TV shows and movies is Prime Wire one channel then TV shows and then searches up here at the top and again I'm going to do a search for dome and you can see that we have a list here instead of the nice icons that we had on Genesis well if you want to change it to the icon view you just simply go to the left select it until it hits thumbnail and there's your thumbnail view and then again you can hit the context menu or the letter C on your keyboard and you can add this to your favorites I already have it in my favorites so it says remove from favorites if I want to get rid of it so now I'm going to go back out here and go to my favorites and you can see that there it is down at the bottom and again if I want to change the view on this now I have the thumbnail view so that's how you do searches and basics on the uh, context menu if you want to close out of the movie section the proper way of doing it is go down and select the power this will take about eight to ten seconds 
for it to exit out of this area and go back out to the main screen. We highly recommend doing this whenever there's been an update uh, or if you're having trouble with any of the apps working. And you'll see the updates come across in the bottom right hand corner here. So it's been about eight seconds and so now here it goes back out to the main menu and if we wanted to we can go back into it and that would apply any updates that have been made. There's also a search button on the remote control and if you use that search button what it will do is actually pull up a search dialog for Google and then you can type in any search that you want to do and then you click on go using your mouse. If you don't have a mouse, that's okay. There's one built into the remote. If you look back on that page that tells you the mappings for the remote, you'll notice in the lower right hand corner from the D-pad, you can press the button that will pull up the mouse. The mouse will only go up, down, left and right uh, because you're using directional pad, but it works the same way as a normal mouse and then you can just click on the OK button to go. We highly recommend getting a wireless mouse and keyboard. So if I wanted to add this search to my favorites, I could go up here and click on the star, and that would add it to my favorites. Also, keep in mind you have all the new tabs up here, so if you already have something marked to favorites, you can get there simply by hitting new tab. And then down here at the bottom, there's your bookmarks so you can get back there quickly. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching and happy streamlining.